Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1,235. Hey, if you want to download this file, 1,235 to 1,238, and follow along, click on the link below the video. Hey, we got a great question here, and this is a common occurrence. We have an amount with a source currency, so this is Canadian dollars, and we need to convert it into a target currency. In this case, the first record is the Great Britain pound. Now, here's what we need to do. We actually need to look up two things. So for the source currency, we have to come over and find CAD amongst these five column headers. So the position would be one, two, three. That means we would have to choose from this whole column, which is filled with a bunch of rows, right? And then we'd have to look up a second thing, the target currency GBP within these five items. And lo and behold, we'd find it in the second position, which means the second row. And look at that, the intersection 0.47 is the conversion rate from one Canadian into 0.47 pounds. Now, how are we going to do a two-way lookup? Well, here's the crazy thing. The question that was sent in, and we got to go look at this sheet right here. I have one, two, three sheets for this particular problem. We want to go to one, two, three, five, if. You can't solve this with the if function. No way. The person that asked this question said they were in a class, and their assignment was to solve this using the if function. And F2 to put it in edit mode? No way. You do not want to solve this problem with the if function. That is absolutely insane, because guess what? There's 25 conditions. 5 times 5 is 25. And for any one value, you have to check one, two things, which means you'd use the AND. That's ridiculous. Excel is not built to solve this problem with the IF function. So let's go over to IMM for index match match, and then we'll see VM for VLOOKUP match. Now, the index function, if I type equals i n and tab, this function is built specifically for a two-way lookup. Now the array, this array is awesome. We're actually going to give it a two-way range, which means there are some rows in it and some columns. And I'm going to have to lock it, F4. Now the amazing thing about index is it actually could do one-way or two-way lookup. Now, when I type a comma, watch this. Now the index is asking, hey, give me the row number. And if I were to type another comma, it's asking, what is the column number? So check that out. Index is built perfectly for a two-way lookup. Now, how in the world are we going to get a row number? Notice GBP, that would be row number 1 and 2. And I actually will move this out of the way. So it's the second row. Now, in the row number, we're actually going to use the match function, which is another lookup function, which finds the relative position. But now check this out. The screen tip is super polite when you're putting functions inside of functions. Notice right now, the screen tip says index. As soon as I type MA and tab, the screen tip changes to the match function. Now that is super polite. Now we can read the arguments inside of match. Now match needs a lookup value. So I'm going to say, hey, lookup GBP comma within this particular array, the five row headers. And I'm going to hit F4. Right now, match would find GBP as the one, two, second position. So match will deliver that to index, comma. And the last argument in match is what type. And we want exact match because we're looking up exactly those three letters. So I type a 0. And watch this. There's the screen tip for match. When I close parentheses, now we're back to index. So when you're putting functions inside of functions, the screen tips are built to help you out. Now look at that. I'm going to click on this row number inside of index. It highlights the whole match. And I'm going to use the keyboard F9 just to evaluate this and look at it for just a second. So F9, no way. That's exactly what match did. It looked it up, reported the relative position in the row number argument and gave it to index. Now I'm going to Control Z because I want to leave that match there. Now I'm going to come to the end of match, comma. And look, 
column is saying, give me the column number. So we're going to do a similar trick, match. And I'm going to look up, oh, the source currency. So look up value is source currency. Type a comma to get to look up array, highlight. We need this one locked as we go down. So I hit the F4 key, comma, 0 for exact match. And check this out. You could see the screen tip for the second match as soon as I close this off. Boom, we're back to the screen tip for index. If I highlight column number, F9 to evaluate it, 1, 2, 3. It got the exact correct column number for index's two-way lookup. Control-Z to undo that. And now I'm very carefully clicking at the end. Now watch this. I'm watching the screen tip there. Close parentheses. I am done. Control enter. Double click and send it down. Now I'm going to control down arrow to jump to the bottom and hit F2. I just want to make sure that all of the ranges are working. I could see the two relative references there, and I could see that the lookup ranges in index match and match are all locked. Escape control up arrow. Now that's not quite what we want, so I'm going to hit F2. What do we want? We want to take that conversion rate and multiply it times the amount. So at the end, times and click on a relative cell reference, one, two, three to my left. Now check this out. Index, if I highlight this whole thing, now index is not delivering a value to the cell. When I hit F9 to evaluate it, it's delivering a value to the formula. So of course, and I can't highlight this in F9 because you're only allowed one F9 and undo control Z when you're in edit mode. So I'm going to control Z and watch this. Now when I highlight this in F9, no way. There is the correct amount. Control Z, control enter, double click and send it down. That is amazing. Now that is one way to do it, index match match. And the beauty of index is index can actually do a two-way lookup. It can do a one-way lookup. It could also, if you have this range somewhere else, not as the actual column right next to the lookup values, index would easily handle that. So index match match is the most versatile way to do this. However, there's another way. And notice that actually, if you know VLOOKUP function, if you highlight this whole table, there's a first column for our target currency. So you could actually use VLOOKUP to look up the row and use MATCH as the column index number. So that's what I'm going to do over on 1235VM equals VLOOKUP. VLOOKUP is also a lookup function. I'm going to tell it to look up the target currency, comma, and the table array, unlike index, which requires only the internal part of the table. VLOOKUP requires the first column to have the value you're looking up. Now I'm going to F4. Right now, VLOOKUP will look up GBP in the first column and find the row, comma. Now we need to tell it the column index. Well, I'm just going to use match. And watch this. When I type MA tab, now I have the match screen tip. Now I'm going to look up the source currency, comma. And we have to be careful here if we're using VLOOKUP. Because remember, there's one column, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So for the lookup array, I'm going to highlight exactly one column before my actual values. Hit the F4. That way, when it finds GBP, it'll find 1, 2, 3. And that's the correct column number for the VLOOKUP, comma, 0. And watch this. Close parentheses on the match. I'm back to the VLOOKUP screen tip. Now I type a comma. And I wish that they had named all of the drop downs and the arguments the same for lookup functions, because they're giving us approximate and exact. Now, you can put false in for exact, but guess what? I'm putting 0 in, because I like to have a consistent way in all the lookup functions to say, hey, I'm doing exact match. And that 0 will 100% of the time work exactly like false. Now, close parentheses on the VLOOKUP. 
Control Enter, double click and send it down. I get all of my correct currencies. I'm not going to go all the way down to the bottom. I'm going to click in a cell just a little bit down and F2. I can see I got all of my cell references correct. Escape, come up to the top. F2, and what's nice about using F2 to put it in edit mode is notice my cursor always ends up at the end. So I can simply times and do my amount. Control Enter, double click and send it down. Come down a little bit, F2, there. It's looking beautiful. So if you want to do a conversion from an amount with a source currency and a target currency, and you have a two-way lookup table, we can either use VLOOKUP and MATCH. We can use F2, INDEX, MATCH, MATCH. And we cannot use that ridiculous formula. All right, we'll see you next video.